Oracho Emperata on the threat from COVID-19. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical expert that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calonsod, pray for us. Today, uh, the DOH is confirming that the 38-year-old female Chinese patient under investigation, the PUI, is positive for the novel coronavirus 2019 does and COVID. I have come to the conclusion that stricter measures are necessary. For this reason, pursuant to my powers as president under the Constitution and Republic Act 11332, I am placing the entire mainland of Luzon under quarantine. It's hard for us to find this bottle because yung kalaban namin is hindi namin nakikita. Mahirap din po yung acceptance ng mga tao, yung stigma ng tao. Sa amin na mga frontliners na akala po nila, kami ay carrier of the virus or kami ang living virus. Alis kami ng bahay, makikipagsa para na sa karsada. Para lang may, may pantawid. The daily tally of COVID-19 cases in the Philippines rose to over 3,000 again on Tuesday.